Hello, and welcome to Owl Knit With You. My name is Rebecca. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as EvilTwin2. You can find show notes on the blog, owlknitwithyou.blogspot.com. You can join our Ravelry group, Owl Knit With You, or you can email me, owlknitwithyou at gmail.com. I swear, every time I think I'm going to mess that up. How are you guys? How are my owls and my ewes? Not my owls, and my sheep. Um, I've made that mistake before. So you might see the camera's really far away from me today. I have a few large FOs to show you, so we had to push that baby back. Um, so let's move into Blather. Uh, we have no new fronds, by the way. New fronds is when you go and introduce yourself in the introduction thread, and then I will lovingly say your name and talk about how amazing you are, because you're all amazing, and I'd love to brag on you. Um, so go introduce yourself in the introduction thread so I can do that. And also get to meet you and say hi, which is awesome. So, Blather. Um, I feel like it's been really rainy this week, but it also makes me feel like I've been sitting home and kicking some knitting butt, which is what you're about to see. Did you get to see me make all these weird hand gestures when we're close up? So it's gonna be kind of awkward. Um, I actually, before this, recorded my SSK episode, so I wouldn't like lose anything, but I'm going to put this one out first because it's what I promised you guys. Um, you know it's bad when you're at SSK and People come up and talk to you and say, hey, you've only released one episode. And I was like, no, I released an episode for the Francis says gay. And they're like, okay, okay, we just have to do one more. Like, I had a couple people tell me that. And I was like, this is kind of amazing. This is the, this is the accountability I need for episodes. Um, but since we are just doing Defeated Foes this episode, I'm going to skip all the other stuff and just move on to that. So first up, I have a list because I have a couple of things to show you guys. Um, I have my hoodie shawl cardigan. It is done. Look at it in all of its glory. Um, I took this to SSK and I saw a lot of people trying it on. It was a big hit. And it is soft and it is gorgeous and it is beautiful. So I made this with some Lorna's Laces Soulmate and also some um, Highland Handmaids Mini? Handmaidens? I'm not going to tell you the yarn because it's on the bottom of the screen. And that's what you get, yeah. Because um, I'm really bad at remembering stuff like that. And I can I can put the exact color way down there. And that, I feel like, is more what you're looking for. So it is awesome. It works really well for me. It fits really, really nicely. Put it on really quick for you guys. I'm going to punch my desk over here. Or my shelf. So I think I really like the It's got a tag on it from my SSK still. But um, I really like the way it fits. It looks really nice. I made the sleeves just a little bit short because I have short arms, but also I got lazy and wanted my sweater done. Um, I finished this at midnight when Stash Dash started. I like waited until it would count and then I finished it because I'm amazing. Um, but anyway, I really enjoyed knitting this. It was really fun. The architecture of it is just insane. So if you feel like doing a cardigan that's out of the ordinary, I would go with this one. Um, it took me about 1500 yards. I'm hitting needles over here. Uh, so you would have been forewarned. Like, it's a lot of yarn. Next up is my Every Color Windward. Um, this has not been blocked yet. There's a couple things in here that haven't been blocked yet. I'll be honest, I'm really bad at blocking. Oh, the end has been woven in. We should do that too. So, <laughs> good job. Uh, but this is what I did with my Fractal Spun Rainbow Yarn. It looks really, really cool from far away. Um, it's kind of hard for me to get to see that, and so when I hold it up for you guys, it looks really good. But you can see that there's just so many crazy flecks of every color because fractal spinning is the coolest type of spinning that ever existed, basically. Um, I had fun spinning this, and I had fun knitting it. It's a really, really small windward compared to how massive my other one is. My other one is, like, insane. This one's, like, just like a baby windward. Um, I actually only did, like, the first half of the pattern, but that's fine. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Um, I'm actually going to put this in a pile, like, two weaving ends and so because I didn't realize I am using my Zoom today. Um, I knit two different, I like to knit two different socks with the same sock yarn so they match but they don't match. So, um, these are all from CC's, uh, CC, coffee, bleh, so, coffee with CC's book of patterns. So this is the, um, French Vanilla, I think is what it's called, sock. The correct pattern name is probably listed below, because I'm good at that. And then this sock pattern is also listed below because I, I know what it is, but I don't remember if I saw it correctly because I kept calling them the wrong names anyway. So, um, but both were just like so much fun to knit up. I really enjoyed it. Um, I wish I'd use a different yarn for this pattern because as you can see, I'll, I'll turn so you can see the whole pattern on the foot. 
it's really hard to see the pattern, but it's there. Um, so it kind of makes you feel like some of that effort was wasted. But uh, I think I'll still enjoy wearing it, and I really enjoyed knitting it. So like, that's, I think this is a strawberry strappe. You, you, you already know what's at the bottom of the screen. But I really enjoyed making these. It was a lot of fun. Um, I may make this pattern again on some more solid color yarn. So now I know that's what I want to do. Back to the big stuff. I kept seeing everyone knit this, and I really wanted one because I, I've discovered that I love shawls that are just completely and offensively gargantuan. Offensively gargantuan. I said it. Uh, so of course I made the doodler, and it's it's freaking huge. Um, it is bigger than my wingspan, which is five foot, so it's probably a six foot shawl, I think. Um, I ran out of yarn in a couple places, but I don't think you would know unless you knew. This also needs some ends woven in and probably needs no I blocked this I just haven't woven it in okay we're good I remember blocking it on my giant couch so on my on my small love seat actually but it's bigger than that which is how I know it's huge but the weather hasn't really been uh worth wearing this yet so I haven't really got a chance to show it off but soon my friends soon this pretty will be all over my town okay so it's huge and awesome. And it's really fun to make. I feel like it went really fast for how big it is. So if you want to make a doodler, I said just go for it. Don't even have to, just go. Just go right now. No. Well, maybe finish watching this first and then go for it. I finished my house cup socks, which were the, I think they're peppermint mocha. I just wrote peppermint socks. Good job. Not helpful, Rebecca. But they turned out fantastic. This is on a self striping yarn from Jinx yarn that I bought at SSK last year. Um, the heels and toes are actually an alpaca yarn to keep me nice and toasty this winter. So I thought this pattern was probably my favorite of the ones in the Coffee with CC book. Um, maybe a close second, I'll be showing you here in a second, but I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely exactly what this yarn needed. So good. So, so good. So perfect. Okay, so I have two more socks. This is the Dark Side of the Moon colorway from Mustache Yarn. Also bought it at SSK last year. Um, this one, I believe, and I might have it wrong, this one is the Espresso Macchiato, I think. And I think this one is the Caramel Latte socks. I made them backwards. But anyway, um, I think both turned out great. I made the second one a little bit longer because I was trying to use up the rest of a ball. So, but it's okay because I like long socks. Um, I haven't blocked them yet, so they're a little bit, I have to stretch them with my hands. But I think they turned out really great. I'm not sure if you can see the pattern from there, but, um... I can zoom in a little bit and show it to you closer. So there's the pattern, a little bit more close up uh, on both socks. And I, I really like the way both of these turned out. I think this is a close second to the Peppermint Mocha socks as far as how much fun it is to knit. Um, but, but really all the socks work. This one has kind of like a really cool pattern and I wish I'd used a more solid color, color yarn once again. So you could really see how it crisscrosses all over the sock. Um, you can kind of see there's some raised parts, but it's not quite the effect that it has in the book. Or is this one's all eyelet robes type things, so it's a little fun. I made a beautiful hat that you don't get to see um, out of this yarn right here. Um, it's a twisty goo hat. Here's me wearing it. I donated it at SSK to the homeless, so I mean, it's all okay, I guess. It all evens out. I'm trying to slouch because my camera is up too high. Anyway, I bought some more yarn at SSK and made a flora hat. I think it turned out really, really well. Uh, I'm putting it on to show you the color work, not so much fashion. Um, but you know, it's got a little bit of a slouch to it. I think the recipient will be excited to wear it if it fits their head. So, um, but this was also fun to make and one more of my hooks. So, I also finished some projects that have been on the needles for a while. This one still needs to be blocked and the ends still need to be woven in, but you get to see it. I finished my planned pulling. Maybe I should have held this the other way. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. Um, I'm not really, I'm not, it's not, it's kind of a weird shape and size. It's long enough to be a shawl, sort of. I mean, it goes around my shoulders-ish, sort of a thing. Like, I could wear it like a cape, basically. Um, it's really, really long and very warm and kind of an awkward s sh size. So, um, I haven't quite decided how it should be worn, but it's mine and I can do whatever I want with it. But, so for those of you who weren't in on this, you know, a year and a half ago when I started it, I had a beautiful sock yarn, or pfft, what? I bought beautiful lace yarn called Helen's Lace, and the pattern, the colors were beautiful, but not so much when knit up. Here's what it looks like knit up, kind of looks gross. So I was like, gotta do something better with this. Um, there's an amazing website called plannedpooling.com. 
If you go there, uh, you need a swatch on the needles that you're going to be using. So like if I'm going to use a five, I'm going to knit with a five. And I figure out how many stitches each color gets me. So maybe this color gets me four stitches and that one gets me five. Um, and you plug it all in and it'll tell you how big, you can adjust it to figure out how to make your colors pull. So I made my colors pull. And I kind of wish I would have just done like this much and made it twice as long. But also this is beautiful. So I love it the way it is. Um, I think it kind of looks like the Eye of Sauron or something, Lord of the rings -y, but it's kind of huge and also awkwardly shaped at the same time, so. That was all my needles forever. It was supposed to be for a house cup OWL, which is an owl, and I did not get anywhere close. I had, I had 10 grams left, which would have taken me, I figured out how much time each row took me, and it would have taken me, like, basically another month. I have two more things to show you that I'm really excited about. First off, is the Lucente. That's right, I finished it, you guys! I'm so excited! Um, I'm actually gonna get to my mom tomorrow, so she doesn't know it's done yet, and I'm really pumped about it. So, um, here is the front of it. This is the new yarn that I bought to match, and this is the back of it, which was the original yarn from Canon Hand Dyes. Um, the front is just a little bit shorter, but it's really, really long after it blocked out. It blocked out kind of big, which was awesome because I kind of felt like it was way too small. So I don't think Mama's going to mind. I think she'll be excited to have it because she's kind of been like nudging me about it. And I worked on this at SSK and everyone was like, ooh, what is that? It's beautiful. And I was like, I hate it. It's awful. Please don't talk to me about this. <laughs> it's probably a jerk about it, honestly. But uh, it's done and I'm so elated uh, to have it off the needles. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that. I also went back, and as some of you on my Instagram have seen, I've refinished my Plum Rondo a la Turk. This is back. Okay. Um, I apparently do not like sweaters with short sleeves. I knit this and wore it once because I like having long sleeves to push up or the option to pull them down if I get cold. It doesn't make sense to me to make a sweater where my arms are cold. So <laughs> I was never a best wearer either. So now it has full length arms, uh, but you can kind of see where I picked up and knit the other arms. So it's something to be washed to kind of even all that out. Um, but I think it fits me really, really well. I'll even put it up for you guys. But I'll get my fingers caught in every color work piece. Um, that was one thing about the Flora hat that I made is I use that new color work technique to wrap every color. It's the same type of color work management that I'm using for my Embrace the Octopus sweater, where you hold it a certain way and it wraps every stitch. I will be putting a link to that in the show notes as well as in the Ravelry um, topic for this episode. Uh, I showed some people at SSK and they were like, what? And so I feel like everyone should know how to do this type of color work management because it's totally amazing and look, it all stretches just fine. Where before my pieces would have no stretch or give uh, this sweater included. So let me zoom out and show you the sweater on me. So here's my sweater on. The sleeves are just right. Um, I got bored and did ribbing for like five inches, but that's fine. I don't want to know that it's not how the original sweater was. Um, honestly, the original sweater didn't even have sleeves, so I'm doing great. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to wear it this fall. It's very fluffy and big. It makes me feel fluffy and big. So, uh, but I think it looks really cute with the yoke. It's a beautiful yoke. There's a good hair over here. Um, anyway, so. Whew, you guys, I think we're all caught up, and after you see my SSK episode, we can finally get back on track to a normal schedule. Um, but after all of this, no matter what you're knitting or how long it takes you, always know that I'll knit with you. Bye, guys.